I am Professor Arata Azuma from Nippon Medical School, Tokyo, Japan. I am pleased to present summary of our paper, recently published Lispilology, entitled Nintenanib in Japanese Patient with Idiopathic Pulmonary Fibrosis, a Subgroup Analysis of Impulses Randomized Trial. Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is a specific form of chronic progressing fibrosing interstitial pneumonia and a rare disease that are fatal with a median survival time of two to three years from the diagnosis. An epidemiological study of, in Japan showed that the uh, annual incidence of IPF was 2.23 per 100,000. Acute exacerbation events of sudden respiratory deterioration of unidentified causes occur in 5 to 10 percent of patients annually and are possibly leading cause of death in the IPF. Nintenanib is an intercellular tyrosine kinase inhibitor that inhibits a receptor linked kinase activity of FGF, PDGF, and VGF and it was found to consistently slow the disease progression by the significant reduction of the annual rate of decline in first body capacity in patients with IPF in the three clinical trial named tomorrow and Impulsis 1 and 2. Nintenanib is approved for the treatment of IPF in the several countries and regions, including the United States. European Union and Japan. Impulsis, that is a two replicate randomized double blind placebo control 50 week phase three clinical trials were performed in the 24 countries, including Japan, to investigate the efficacy and safety of Nintendo 150 milligrams twice daily in patients with IPF. The primary endpoint and the trial was the annual rate of decline of first body capacity. The key secondary endpoint were both time to first acute exacerbation and change from the baseline and the total score on the SGRQ over 52 weeks. Safety was assessed by a clinical and laboratory evaluation and recording the adverse events. In both trials, Nintenari significantly reduce the annual rate of decline of first body capacity compared with the placebo by about 50%. In the past, safety concern related to the, for example, drug-induced pneumonia have been raised in Japanese patients treated with the molecular targeted medicine. Our paper mentioned efficacy and safety of nintenanib in Japanese patients and they evaluate the consistency of the result with those for the overall population by pre-specified subgroup analysis of the Japanese patient in the impulsive trial. Of the 1,066 patients who participated in the impulsive trial, 126 were Japanese, of which were 76 in the nintenanib group and 50 in the placebo group. No major difference in baseline characteristics were observed between the Japanese patient and the overall population, except body weight and the absolute FEC value, which were slightly lower in Japanese patient as expected. In Japanese patient, the adjusted annual rate of decline in forced body capacity was 135.9 ml per year in the internative group and 267.7 ml per year in the placebo group, a difference of 131.9 ml per year. The treatment effect of nintenanib at the annual rate of decline in forced body capacity in Japanese patients was consistent with the overall population, a difference of 109.9 ml per year. The proportion of Japanese patients with at least one investigator reported acute exacerbation was 3.9% in the Nintenanib group and 12% in the placebo group, 
and the hazard ratio uh, for the time to first execute exacerbation was 0.25. The effect of nitinib on the time to first acute exacerbation in Japanese patients was generally consistent with that in the overall population where the hazard ratio was 0.64. In Japanese patient, the mean change from baseline in SGLQ total score at week 52 was 5.81 in the nintenanib group and 9.68 in the placebo group, a difference minus 3.87. The treatment effect of nintenanib on change from baseline in the SGRQ total score was similar in Japanese and overall population. The frequency of patients with severe adverse event and the serious adverse event were comparable between the nintenanib and placebo group in Japanese patients as in the overall population. The frequency of Japanese patients with adverse events leading to treatment discontinuation was not significant, but slightly greater in the nintenanib group than in placebo group. That was uh, consistent with the result for the overall population. In Japanese patient, the most frequently reported adverse event in the nintenanib group included diarrhea, nausea, decreased appetite, hepatic function abnormal, and hepatic enzyme increased. Diarrhea was the most frequent adverse event reported in 75% in patients with the nintenanib group versus 18% of patients in the placebo group. However, only 3.5% of the patients with diarrhea in the nintenanib group and none of in the placebo group discontinued treatment because of the adverse event. The intensity of diarrhea was mild to moderate and was manageable. The frequency of the events of hepatic function abnormal and the hepatic enzyme increased in the nintenanib group were greater in Japanese patients than the overall population. This difference might be associated with the lower body weight of Japanese patients, but the frequency of patients with the elevated level of AST and LT over three times the upper limit of normal war, similar between the Japanese and the overall population. To improve the management of patients with elevated liver enzyme, it is important to investigate the hepatic transaminase and the bilirubin levels before the initiation of treatment with the nintenanib and to perform the periodic monitoring thereafter. In conclusion, this pooled data analysis in impulsive trial revealed that effect of nintenanib on the annual rate of decline in forced body capacity as a measure of the disease progression, the time to first acute exacerbation, and the change from the baseline and SGRQ total score in Japanese IPF patients were similar to those in the overall population. The overall safety and tolerability profile in Japanese patients was similar to that observed in the overall population.